In a bid to escape the bank holiday crowds, me and my friend Nick jumped in his convertible hairdresser's car and headed out into the Yorkshire Dales, armed with just a pair of speedos and a flute. Stay tuned. Hello and welcome to another video. I'm out and about in Yorkshire. Not camping, I've just come out to explore these waters, maybe handball a few crayfish into my mouth and just have a nice day out. And this, this video is sponsored by, kindly sponsored by HelloFresh. If you don't know, is a meal prep thing so that you, it takes all the stress out of going to the shop and getting all your meals sorted. You just go online, choose what you want and that'll just get delivered to your door with all the instructions on how to do it. Everything's numbered so corresponds with this easy to use menu. And I've been using it mate and it's been just making me fall back in love with using recipes and getting in the kitchen and just putting my tunes on or an iPod, a, a podcast and just getting into it. And they've given me a code which is here and that'll give you this. And so if you want to check out downstairs there'll be a link below. Uh, and yeah, go check it out and get a bit of a discount off your first order. Cheers. Back on with it. And there we go back. Look, I'm here with my mate Nicholas. Nicholas Witchell. <laughs> there he is, look. The human. The human whatever. And we've got some musical instruments. We're going to catch some crayfish, eat crayfish. And Nick's going to serenade me with the penny whistle. Look at this. No latch, no lock, just... What we're working with, just human, human kindness can shut that, and that's what we're all about. Follow latch and locks for more. Can't stay in for long. I've got no wetsuit. I've got none of my gear, and it still is early into April, so it's freezing cold. We'll see if we can smash and grab a few crayfish and uh, see what we can bring you. Nice. We're off in. Stopwatch on. We're using a stopwatch because we know our limit. We don't want to get carried away because I've done this before and got carried away and ended up like, and dying in like a burn here. Ooh! You cold? You cold? Ooh! The Maldives! Ooh! She's warm! Right, it's one thing getting in doing this, it's another thing diving for crayfish. Good haul. Definitely got a little feed here. Nick's gonna try and break his crayfish cherry, but we'll keep an eye on the tide because it is getting chilly. <laughs> there he goes. Me. Me, boy. <laughs> we'll eat tonight, kids. We'll eat tonight. Hold on. Bag it and tag it. Well done, mate. 
make our way back up river. Sun's coming out. Glorious. So we're gonna make our way back up river, pull out whatever we can. Just seen a trout, could have tickled it, tickled its bits. But alas, we'll make our way back up. It's clear like. We're out now. <laughs> I think we're in for about 15 minutes, but I prefer make sure. Starting to get a bit cold to say the least, so we got out. We've done alright. Nick managed to get one. Look his crayfish cherry. Oh. The rest are just in the dry bag, so I'll have a little look. And here they are, look. So that's 15 minutes worth. And these 25 minutes. Uh 25 minutes we're in there. We've got a corral them because they'll get away. That's a beauty. Look at these. These are the signal crayfish, but we'll talk a bit more about that later. Right, get them back in. <laughs> Too cold. <laughs> <laughs> Too cold to flute! Hi guys, welcome to another video. I'm out in the Yorkshire Dales doing a bit. I've not eaten for about two weeks, so I'm gonna go and see what I can forage just to keep myself alive. Peace and love, yo. Bit of char cloth, bit of flint, and a steel. There you go. You see? And that's our ember caught. Into the nest we go. And we have to see if we can play our cards right. Gonna stay, that's not gonna go anywhere. I've made these little clips on it, and I've, I've made a video on how to make these clips. I'll leave it here, check it out. Right, let's dispatch these uh, crayfish. I'll show you how to do that. Let's get a decent sized one so I can show you. This is quite a big, this is quite big for uh, the crayfish, and this is. The American signal crayfish, you can tell by the orange under there and just the, the sheer size of them compared to our native white claw crayfish. These are an invasive species and because of these our, our, uh, our own crayfish is on the decline. Uh, I'm going to dispatch this to show you how to do it. I'll probably cut this bit out for you lot who can't handle it using the spider co. It feels nothing. Any residual movement now is just, just the nerves. And then you see he's all flopped out, look. And you see their tail there, the fan of the tail. You want to be using the central bit of the tail. Get hold of that. I'm going to move it to one side. You'll hear a click. Click. And then another way. Click again. And if we just pull that, it takes a little bit of oomph, but ah, there you go. And the intestinal track will come all out attached to that in a one -er. And then that's your crayfish, it's dispatched and it's cleaned out and ready for the pot. Do you know any meatloaf? Sorry? Do you know any meatloaf? <laughs> R.I.P. meatloaf. Uh, what is it? No. What meat though? No, I was going to try and play my favourite food. <laughs> Do Lord at Rings. Ah, oh, I made a mistake. Hang on, cut this time. Cut. Come on, Smeagol. 
get cooking. You stick to cooking, I'll stick to fluting. Yeah, OK. I'll just crop you out. <laughs> <laughs> Until they're nice and pink. We'll bring that to the boil again now that it's cooled down with the crayfish in it. We'll bring that to the boil. Uh, and once it's boiled, we'll just that'll be it. We'll just take it off and it'll just simmer and they'll be nice and done. It's a woodland stew. <laughs> the uh, the main meat that you want to be having is in the tail. Uh, you can, we'll have a look at the claw meat, that is quite a different taste. And then you can use the heads as a stock, if it's a survival situation, they'd go back and we'd make like a bisque or a stock and, and reduce it down and get the nutrients out of the shells and that. So I'll just get them and crush them at the side, like that. And it just loosens them up and they just pop out. That's your classic crayfish tail. So as you can see, definitely a labour of love. Mm. That's good actually. I like it. That's really good. And then, um, you can go into claws as well. That bit comes out, so just don't eat that cartilage there. The, the tough like, tough little, little bleeders. You can but the good thing you can do with these is if you've got, you know, if you're camping out, you can you can boil a load up and you can just chill by the fire and just take your time, you know, taking them to bits. And there you go, that's a decent bit of, bit of claw meat, which has a different flavour to the tail, just like in lobster. Mmm, that's good. <laughs> that's good. Well, there's a bit of arse still in it. Yeah, yeah it's, only, it's a bit of head stuff, it's fine, you can eat that. So this is Nick's that he's caught, killed, cooked, and he's going to eat it himself. <laughs> it's not, yeah? Good gear, that. Good. You've nailed, he's nailed up big one. Yeah. That one's alright. And then just peel it open, like this. Yeah. Squeeze it. Mm. Just we'll chuck all the shells into one place and then we're gonna dig a little hole and bury them because they are, they don't look natural. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> <laughs> Dutty. Right, how do I get a claw then? Well, this is what our ancestors would have done many moons ago. Wow, I'll be full after this, like, <laughs> ready for a few pints. <laughs> Lining the stomach with <laughs> the claws. <laughs> there you go. Two more of these and I'll be full. Yeah, who's going to carve? You're going to carve. You're going to be done. You carve it. Uh, oh, what well, this wet patch? Uh, it's mainly just crayfish juice that I've been sat in for the last ten minutes, which has pretty much just marinated my left bum cheek. So that's that, because that's going to smell good, isn't it? When I get in Nick's car. <laughs> to the naysayers who doubt me for wearing a bum bag all the time, I've had to wear these leggings because I've got crayfish ass, and this bum bag's coming in. It's my, now my pockets. Secondly, don't look at my ass while I'm tidying up, yeah? There's not much to tidy up because it was on its bush box. No heat in the ground, it's only a little bit of ash, so we've tidied all our crayfish away. We'll just kick that about a little bit and you, there's absolutely no trace there whatsoever. So it's influences in the wild.
It looks like he's fallen for a portal in the 80s. A VHS workout video. <laughs> Sweatband on, leggings on, finished with a flat cap, the cherry on the top. To the right, to the sun, to the moon! <laughs> Reach with me, girls! <laughs> right, we're absolutely bursting at the seams now after that crayfish medley. Um, a delightful end for their whole it like it's good just to be able to see them hunt them it's not some real honey but it kind of feels like it gives you an idea of where your food comes from uh, we're losing the light but we've decided as it's easter we're going to try and make a run for this waterfall and see if we can get there before it gets dark we're going to go in it anyway so the next shot will either be us in a waterfall at the, in the dark or in the light we'll see you there Right, to the waterfall! <sighs> Woo, there we go. Nice little punch pool. The lighting is great on this because it's really good in low light, but it's a lot darker than it makes out. We've maybe got about 10 minutes, 15 minutes, so it's deep enough there to get in up to our neck and just not look for crayfish, just chill out a little bit. Wash some of that crayfish. You know that old saying about washing the old crayfish juice of the day off you? That. I'm hearing, I'm hearing from front line that it's significantly colder. Oh, you what? <laughs> <laughs> Ha 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 ha!